How's the serenity, mate? Look at that, what a, what a beautiful still morning. This is the only thing that I love about winter, is when you get these really nice still winter mornings. Pretty much since that snapper session, I have not been out. So I've got a few things done, I've got the boat serviced, everything else, and with this patch of good weather coming up, we're gonna continue our Western Port journey. So we're gonna be fishing one tide today. It's, it's only just starting. It's dead low as you can see, all the banks have risen up. We've got one whole tide, so we've got about six, seven hours. And it's gonna be purely whiting because we wanna we wanna just get a good gauge on these things. Again, it's not about bagging out, this is about reconnaissance. It's about building up that confidence in here so that in the future we have a bit of an idea of what we're actually doing. Being middle of winter, so we've got north of the bay up there, we're gonna be heading south towards Phillip Island. Reason being is that water's so cold that the fish have moved down and they're chasing those warmer ocean currents. That's the that's gonna be the thinking today. And that's the hard part about Western Port is like, all right, we might be able to, to put something together today, but different times of the year, you gotta do something different. So it's gonna be a constant learning curve. We're gonna to try to not get distracted by any schools of salmon today. They have been around. I do have the Halcos handy just in case. It's gonna be a glorious day out there. It's cold. coming off the water sun right on the horizon that's the island there Phillip Island we need um we need something to happen for us Burly bucket straight over I just kicked your GoPro off I gave it like a karate kick assume position all right so the burley's been deployed how effective it is at the moment I don't know because the burley cage is launching down towards Hastings. Look, we'll give it a go here. It's the tide's pumping. It's only just started. This is this is the trouble with Western Port. Especially when you're new to it. It's like what the hell's going on here? We might as the sun comes up and we get a bit of visuals on, on the bottom. I reckon we might we might need to head more in. These are good squid grounds as well. But I think one thing that we have done in the past is we sort of stuffed around with squid. We've gone too far into the tide. I think it ends up handicapping you. I think I think we need to get enough knowledge in before we can start chasing different species but i have no doubt that one day we're going to come out we're going to know exactly what we're doing and we're going to get the western port trifecta we're going to get a bag of whiting we're going to get a gummy or two and might even throw in a snapper i reckon show us this thing look at this it's a rod with no eyes it goes in through there and it goes in through the rod and out the tip this guy's always pulling out some random stuff <laughs> papu's old rod Papu's old rod, you reckon? Perfect time in the morning, perfect time in the tide. This is it. We'll deploy here, we should be able to find bottom. There's nowhere near as much tide. Basically just moved, moved in a bit. Nice and patchy ground here, I can actually visualize it. So this is a lot more comfortable now. To start off, pippi and squid cocktail, I reckon. Let me go with that. Yes, that's the Tingonosta down the side. We've got the two Mutus out the back. Waiting game now. I don't know, we'll give it what? Shoot, half an hour? And then we just we just keep shifting around, I reckon. Hopefully as the sun comes up, like I said, we'll get some good visuals. I can see a good patch here. Can't exactly tell what's there yet. All right, I've got a first fish on here. It's not fighting like a whiting. But you never know. It is. First whiting on the Mewtwo. Nice size too. Not bad. There we go. Here's our first whiting. Not a bad start. Let's rack them up, boys. All right, gloves are coming off now. It's time to get a bit dirty. See how they just come through? What is that? Goatfish, yeah. Bring that in, bro. They're grouse eating. They call that the Greek mullet. Is it a spike for them? I don't know if it does. First time I've seen one of them in person. Little red mullet. Absolutely cracking eating they reckon. And I have to confirm, unreal eating. It was like a cross between a whiting and a flathead. Meanwhile, the gloves were off, but the hands weren't getting dirty. 
we're in Cat Bay now, we've moved up. This is while we're in this sort of area, I just wanted to see what it was like, so. And all it was, was snags and rubbish fish. The whiting had us defeated again, but we pushed on. That's a fucking rubbish fish again, he's hooked himself, he's hooked himself. Silver, bro. Double, bro. That's double hookup. What is that? Double tings. Double tings? No. You're kidding me. No. Like salmon or something. Bro, it's time. <laughs> it's time. I don't I don't think I've got the net in here. <laughs> Trust the old salmon to pull through. But it dawned on us. We were too late. The tides of change, the switching of seasons was upon us. We miss the boat with the whiting. It's just gonna have to wait till next summer. And we spring upon us, the focus must switch. The boys in red are about to arrive. A bird has shat on my sounder. All over my dash as well. I don't know if that means that we're in for a shit day or whether it's actually good luck. I'll have to wait and see. Alright, we're going with our standard Western Port running rig. So we've got our dropper with our sinker there. We've got about a metre of leader leading to our reedies. 50187s. On there you'll see a salmon chunk, which we caught on the last episode. We've got a squid ring on the other one. So prime baits this time of year. I think squid's number one. I think everyone knows that. Fresh squid, so that's some of the squid that we've collected recently. And the other one's your real fleshy bait. So not so much your... I don't know about using pilchards here, but you want to use a real nice, smelly, oily, fishy bait to hopefully entice them. I'll give you guys a bit of an overview of what's been happening. So, unfortunately, it has been a bit of a quiet winter for me. I was away for a few weeks during the midst of it. Pretty much ever since I've been back, the weather's just been crap. So, I haven't really found an opportunity to, to get out. Now, the whiting. A bit of a pain in the backside for me in Western Port, it's been so far. I think once we do figure it out, it'll be pretty fruitful. But I think in terms of the whiting, I've pulled the plug for now. Just being in the middle of winter, it's tough fishing. I've even heard reports from other people that have been going out, getting donut sessions, maybe getting picking up two or three fish. I think it's just that time of year, unfortunately, we've we've missed the boat. It's, just, it's not the efficient thing to do. So I'm, I'm gonna put that on the back burner for now. Post snapper season, we get into summer, um, I'm really gonna focus in on it. I sort of let it linger and I didn't really put too much focus in on it until it was pretty much too late. So that cooler water, the whiting, they're just, they're just hard to find. So that brings us to now. It's coming up to snapper season, not snapper season yet, we're still in winter, but rest assured, coming into that full moon in August is when the snappers start coming into the bays. Water temperature is still very cold. We're sitting at about 12, 13 degrees at the moment. It's still very, very cold and it's gonna be very hard to find the bite. When it comes to catching a fish at this time of year, it's about just plonking yourself on a mark and sitting there for hours and hours and it could take you days and days to get onto a fish. Or we might get lucky, we might get onto one really quickly. Now you would have seen I think it would have been the second video of the Solving Western Port series when I got onto that snapper. The amount of blood and sweat that went into to catching that fish was ridiculous. Now, hopefully we don't have to go through that again. Hopefully we can get a fish a bit quicker than that. To be fair, that was a cracker fish. But what I'm, what I'm looking for this time around is you would have noticed last time, I actually, until I caught that fish, I caught nothing. What I'm hoping for more so this time around is getting onto a few smaller fish, so that one to two kilo fish, just so we can get a few numbers and, and, and so that we know that, okay, we're in the right zone at the right time. Whereas last year, I, didn't really, I couldn't really read too much into it. Although our logic sort of paid off in the end, I would have liked to have, you know, maybe got onto a few more small fish, even caught a couple of gummies along the way. It was a bit of a... Uh, slog for me last year but yeah sit back relax and this is it like this is 
We're gonna be slogging it out here for the next month. There's not really much else going on. I am gonna do another squid collection, stocking up for that snapper season. Other than that, it's gonna be it's gonna be this. So fingers crossed. Can pick up something even a gummy I'll, I'll be stoked if we get onto a gummy today so with western port we've creeped up into pretty shallow water we're sitting in about five and a half six meters of water sort of creeped up onto a bank next to next to the channel because those fish are going to go right up into the shallows and, and really it's that sort of 16 degree mark is their trigger point to start feeding fingers crossed we can intersect one along the way so it's a run out now so the the tide's running off those banks, that warmer water that's been heated up from the sun. That's all running through into the channel behind us. We're right on that edge. The other thing I noticed coming up here, so I probably moved, I don't know, only 500 meters up from where I was. And it's a whole two degrees difference in the water temp, two degrees. So I can see how that can be the difference in terms of getting a bite, not getting a bite. That's literally 500 meters, it's nothing. We're onto a fish. Don't know what to make of it. It's not really doing anything. It's not light though. Could just be one of them rogue salmon, I reckon, or a small gummy. What have we got? Little gummy. That's, that's one one little gummy better than I did that whole time last year. I was wondering why I couldn't get any. And there's a little Western Port gummy. There we go. I was, I, about six trips in, I was like, I just want to see one of these. Thought they were a bit of a myth, myth in here. There we go. After a long day of nothing, take it <laughs> this was what i thought to be the first trip of another long hard slog for a western port snapper but i was determined to harness what i learnt last year and push further into the shallows than what i've ever done before and maybe then i'd realize i was onto something let's go oh well, dad on board with us today rare appearance rare rare very rare appearance especially this early on in I usually wait until you know, the fishing is good and then come out when I'm guaranteed like a snap or a two but Yeah, he's, he's gonna have to work hard hard for it today. He can't just come on board once in a blue moon on a hot bite. He's gonna work hard for it. So we're pretty much bouncing all over the place. Tried Coronella, I'm gonna try top end. I'm just gonna bounce around until something hits. Fingers crossed it doesn't take as long as last year. The one thing that you need to be careful of in Western Port with the strong tides, and it's hard to tell, it was happening at this exact moment, and that was our anchor didn't catch, and we we're actually heading straight into a bank. I had to quickly take the wheel and put the boat into gear whilst Moe brought in the rods and the anchor. Lucky we saved it. We we're quickly back in action, and there was actually some fish activity happening. Is it still there? Yeah, bruh. Put it back on, bro. Put it back on. Not even, bro. It feels like, oh. oh! I reckon that's tangled. That was it. Hold on to that. Fuck, I thought it was tangled. No, that was a good bite, bro. Alright, so we're actually getting bites here. Put that in. Our squids, our squid rings are getting slammed. Keep an eye on that one as well, yeah? Yeah. Now we've got three squid rings out. And I hope that we can snag one of these. That's it. Welcome to Western Port, brother. Welcome to welcome to what we call Western Port. Although we were getting plenty of action, there was no hookups. But that was okay, because I was eyeing out the change of tide coming into sunset. Oh, bro, pull one out of the bag. Yeah. 
What is it? Bro, yeah, bro. Yes, bro. Finally. Oh. Oh. Yeah, bro. It's a snapper. Oh. The one on my head just died. Oh. Yeah, bro. That's it. Oh. Get my fucking snapper. Get it, get it, get it, yes! Fucking yes! <laughs> Woo! Hey, it's time. The sun's starting to set. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for all day. And they weren't little nippy little bites. They weren't a full on hard uh, take. No, no, it wasn't. Take that for the um, first fish of the season. Pretty rough to get a snapper early in the season. Here we go. Here's our fish. Solid, of, solid little fish to start with, I reckon. That is the good old. Reedy's 187s, corner of the jaw. They're gonna have, to have a bit of a workout this season, I reckon. Last year we didn't have a full season on the snapper. This year we are. Woo! Yeah! Small, a lot smaller fish than, than what we got last year, but counts are on the board, mate. We're on the board and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with any fish that comes out of here, to be honest. So you're right. It wasn't like snapper season Port Phillip Bay, you know, mid-season or in the peak of season. The way it just grabs yeah. it and goes. Yeah, yeah, no, like, you have a snapper, you get, you get the bite off the snapper, and you're like, you're like doof, doof, the rod's bending over. Yeah, yeah. I actually thought, initially, it was like either a small fish or like a salmon. They are finicky, you're right with that. Yeah. They're not as aggressive Yeah. Um, at the moment. A bit of rain coming through as well. A bit of rain coming through, but... Scenes! Look at this scenery, bro. How sick does that look? It's creepy as, you know, like, it's like King Kong. You can see a bit of rain's coming through, so hopefully we don't get mauled. Oh, you know what? Look at this rain rain. Come on, bro. One fucking donkey. One donkey, bro. Please. Look at this. Look at that one. Look at that one. Just let it run. When it wants to run, let it run. Bro, what scenes, bro? Look at this. That's a better fish, bro. I think. I hope so. <laughs> Don't go too hard on it, yeah? Come on, bro. Let's finish strong here. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. yes! <laughs> bro, that's the one, mate. I hear the rain is calling, burger. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Keep going. That's what we're after, baby. Yeepah! Look at that. That's a big fish, man. Right when we're about to leg it from the from the rain. Is it going again? No, I think it's... That's the one. That's the one. And it might be job job done early here in Western Port this year. That's a much better fish. There we go guys. I reckon we gotta dodge that rain, bro. Look at that. That's cooked. I think, I think we're gonna call it, man. I'm, I'm stoked with that, bro. Oh, we're off the mark take hard. I will take that. This early in the season? This early? It's only taken me... This is what? My second trip. Second trip out here. So it took us, what, nine trips last time? I'm stoked with that. I was happy with just the first one. Now we got that second one over the moon. Um, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'm not, I don't really want to fish uh, the bay until sort of mid-October. That's when I like fishing it. Um, I might do a bit of early season work with lures and whatnot. Um, around the reefs there, but that sort of takes the pressure off me here a bit. I reckon um, Similar to last year. I was like I was done last year, but still early in the piece here I, th I think I'll give it a couple more goes and then and then it's all it's all focused on, on collecting some squid because that cost me an arm and a leg and the rest is gonna be um, Pretty much early season Port Phillip Bay, so catch you guys out there. I hope you enjoyed that one